Hey everyone, happy Friday. This is Mike from Orderflows and I'm pleased to present this presentation with Investor Inspiration. This is my Orderflows 2.0, what you need to know about Orderflow. And my goal for you today is to teach you the most important part of Orderflow. I'm going to explain new developments in Orderflow analysis. I'm going to show you why you don't need to predict the market to be a successful trader. And hopefully by the end, I'm going to convince you to stop waiting for confirmation and start trading. You know, that's what trading is about. It's about actually trading you know everyone likes to sit around and wait for confirmation but in the meantime the market is trading back and forth and they're missing their trades and this morning this is uh, friday august 3rd there's a great setup in the uh, order flow uh, about 3 30 in the morning if you're awake at that time um, there's a great buying opportunity right off the low you could have been getting long around the 28 26 and a half 27 area and you know hopefully taking it all the way up to the 26 28 34 area so a good uh, six and a half or seven points in the e-minis and I'm going to show you in this presentation how you can find trades like that and what I'm presenting here is what I've developed for myself and built my trading career on you know I've spent my time my professional career as a, as a trader you know as an institutional trader that's what I did that's what paid my bills you know it's not something where I, I sat down and you know, I, I couldn't trade, so I started programming. No, you know, I, I was a trader. That's what I did. So I hope you can find things you can use or things you can modify and adapt for your own trading. And it's important to know that you don't have to follow what I say just because I say it. You know, you have to evaluate everything you come across, whether it's from me or one of the other speakers here today, and decide if it's going to help you. You know, if not, reject it. You know, trading is a is a journey. It's a emotional sometimes and more importantly it's a mental journey you got to find what works for you and apply it you know not everything is going to work for everybody else now if you stick around to the end i got a special gift for you it's it's my book trading order flow it's 150 pages and you're going to get uh, the pdf version you're not going to get an actual hardbound copy sent to you but i'll show you at the end how to get it now for those of you that are new to one of my presentations uh, let me just explain who i am my name is Michael Baltos. I'm the founder and owner or trader of orderflows.com since uh, 2015. It's 2018 now, so it's three years. Prior to that, I spent eight years at JP Morgan as vice president of the futures trading as a trader. Okay, I wasn't like sitting in an office looking at spreadsheets and coming out and tapping the guy on the shoulder. Oh, you're taking too much risk or, you know, you're, you're losing too much money. No, I sat on the trading desk in at five in the morning, out at five at night. Um, I did that for eight years and you know, it's, it's a very tiring job. Let me tell you, it's, it's not all, it's not like you watch the show billions and you know, you think it's some glamorous thing. It, it, it there at times it sucked, but, um, that's, that's life. That's, that's what it's like. Honestly, I spent four years at Cargill as a trading desk manager. I even said, went to Singapore to set up a trading desk when the exchange uh, futures exchange closed there. I spent three years at Commerce Bank as a licensed Eurex trader. I traded Bunds, Bobble, Shats, Dax, Euro stocks, and against all the U.S. products. I spent two years at EDF Man, the big English global trading company, as a global macro trader. And I started on the CME floor with Dean Witter. I spent three years on the Globex desk. There, it was called the Globex desk um, because that's when Globex was just starting up. And, you know, all the, the members, um, member firms, you know, were, were pushed by the exchange to have a Globex desk. And, you know, it was the terminal from CME, which was Globex, Project A from the Board of Trade, and um, NYMEX Access. In addition, and we were trading all the futures markets around the world as well. So it was, it was a great opportunity. You know, when I was on the floor, I thought, you know, I was in the Deutschmarks and, and Swiss francs. I thought that was the world, you know. Maybe, you know, if it was funny because, you know, when you're down there on the trading floor, and unfortunately, there's no more trading floors, but you know, you're, you're just involved in one market, maybe two or three. And, it, you know, if you follow, you know, if you're, um, if you're, if you're trading, you know, Deutschmarks and, and Swiss francs, and then you can talk about, say, Japanese yen, people be like, wow, you know, you're a genius. But, you know, when, when you left, when I left the floor, it's like a whole different world evolved, you know, as, um, I, I was introduced to all, all the contracts around the world, you know, Hang Seng, um, you know, Nikkei, FTSE, DAX, you know, all the stock indices around the world, even the commodity contracts, you know, gas oil, you know, things in the United States you don't even think about, um, rapeseed and canola oil, you don't really think about that stuff in the U.S. You just think of what's traded here in the U.S. and, and go from there. But, um, you know, so I really 
have experience trading in, in all the different futures markets around the world in different conditions. And that's important information that you can't get just by trading one market at a time. But in 2013, I left JP Morgan to spend more time with my family and trade on my own. You know, honestly, it, like I said, you know, coming in at five in the morning, leaving five at night, plus the commute time, spending more time with the jokers in my office than, than with my my family. And I decided, you know, that's not what I want to do. You know, I don't want to be 50 and have a heart attack, you know, because I, I'm spending more time trading in the office and, and not time with your family. You know, and if you have kids, you understand how important it is to spend time with them. And, you know, I, that was the decision that I made. So I started trading for myself and I said, you know, I want to write a book. You know, writing a book is, is a lot more work than uh, I thought, honestly. You know, I'm a bit of, I'm like, well, I've, I'm the type of person, I decide I want to do something, I'll do it. But it's, you know, I started out writing the book and then it's like, after three months, it's like, well, you know, this is actually a lot more work. And, you know, so I was doing that, doing that. And I was trading at the same time, but I was using another vendor's volume footprint chart in my trading that I've, I've used for a while. And I was getting frustrated in the sense that, you know, I, I could only really concentrate on one market at a time. And... You know, when, when I was even trading in, in the bank, you know, I would I'd basically concentrate on, on a few markets, but, you know, my size was there, so it was big size and we we're doing a lot of volume, so it really wasn't an issue. But when you're out there trading for yourself, you know, you want to try and watch a, a few markets at once, you know, three or four if you can, because um, it's going to give you more trading opportunities. And I found myself missing trades sometimes because I'd be in a position in, say, the mini S&Ps, and there's something happening in the euro currency that I didn't pick up on because I was too focused on one market. But if I could have a way that the software would highlight to me things that I like to look for in the order flow, it can free me up to visually see what's happening in, in other markets as they're happening. So even if I was in a position and something was happening in another market, I can see it. You know, I could free up my brain, so to speak, to see it. So in 2015, I created the order flows trader software on orderflows.com and to take the order flow analysis to the next level. So I programmed these tools that I use. I call them tools. It's basically um, my ways of looking at the order flow chart to see price rejection, price support, absorption, and these other little market nuances. And it, it runs on NinjaTrader 7 or 8 because that's where my, my programmer, that's that was his specialty. So, um, you know, I went with there and it's a pretty simple program to use if, if you're new to it doesn't take that long to to get the hang of but um you know my my whole goal was to take the heavy lifting of analysis off my shoulders to put it onto the software so that I could watch what's happening in multiple markets at the same time because you know what happens sometimes is in the markets there's nothing going on and you tend to get distracted you know maybe you start looking at facebook or something or surfing the internet but if i could you know, just glance up at a chart really quick and, you know, because there's a, a certain color on the screen for um, telling me of support or resistance or, um, a, you know, some some sign on the screen, then, you know, it'll catch my attention and then I could go focus on that when it's happening. And that was the whole goal. So let me be clear, you know, you have to make trading decisions. You know, that's what trading is about. At the end of the day, it's you deciding, hey, I'm going to take this trade or not. And order flow allows you to view the market in ways you haven't before. The best way for me to describe it is like being a doctor, okay? When you, you're sick, you go see the doctor. What does he do? He takes your temperature. He looks at your eyes. He looks in your ears, looks in your mouth. You know, sometimes he'll ask you to go for an x-ray. And it's from that, he's he's able to diagnose what's wrong with you. You know, from your x-ray, he can see inside what's going on. That's why he's looking inside your body and everything. And you're checking your blood flow. And that's what order flow is like. Right, it's it's seeing inside what's happening in the market, seeing what's going on um, with you know the flow of the blood or the flow of trading, and again, it really opens up the market to a whole new view that you probably hadn't before. Now you you know you've always heard the statistic, you know, ninety percent of traders lose money. You know, I'd say ninety to ninety-five percent of the traders lose their account in the first year. But, you know, they probably just, they blow it up. You know, it goes to zero or, you know, they, they take a drawdown of 80% and then just pull the money out. Why do you think that is? It's because what they're doing is they don't know how to trade. 
You know, they, they think they buy a book or two on trading and they think they're their master. Or they read some guy on, on a forum, you know, Big Lips 97 says, oh, you have to trade it like this. And that's the only way to trade. And, you know, they don't understand how to trade. They're getting bad information from people they don't know, basically. It says, oh, this is how you have to trade because I say so. Well, I'm not even saying that. I'm saying, you know, if this resonates with you, then great. You know, I'm trying to give you an edge. You know, I've had an edge in trading because I've been successful trading. You know, I'm not going to last eight years at a bank like JP Morgan trading unless you are good at it, you know, period. You know, if you're losing money quarter after quarter, costing them money, you know, they don't pay you to sit in a seat and piss away their money. No, you know, they want results. So stop doing what the losing traders are doing, you know, do something different. And, you know, that that's, like like Apple, right? For many years, Apple made, you know, Apple came out with the first home computer, basically, and they made a lot of money. But then what happens is they never really went further. And, you know, they had, you know, a great guy in Stephen Jobs, you know, who had the idea of, to make the iPhone, you know, there are already phones on the market. Okay. But, you know, he said, you know, what, I, you know I want a phone that can do stuff differently. And, and look at them now, you know, just yesterday they hit, they hit a trillion dollars in market cap. Why is because they took something that was just a basic tool and they made it better. You know, they found an edge in the market, you know, they, they improved something and that's what trading is about. It's about having an edge in the market. Now, before I jump into everything, a brief disclaimer, this presentation is for educational and informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation of buy or sell a futures contract or make any other type of investment decision. Futures trading contains substantial risk and is not for every investor. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Now, the reason why I go through this disclaimer every video and every webinar I do is because, you know, I want you to understand there is risk involved in trading. Nothing is 100%. And, you know, I, 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 I laugh at these claims, you know, 99% winning trades, or even I see 100% winning trades. Um, yeah, no, it, it doesn't work that way. You know, I'm a big believer in seasonal patterns. I, I have to admit that's, that's a, uh, something I'm, I've always been interested in ever since, uh, you know, I, I know because, you know, I worked at Cargill and I know there are seasonal tendencies in a lot of commodities. And oftentimes, you know, I see people, say, well, you know, this market has a seasonal tendency of 95%. Well, when you take the trade, you just happen to be that 5% of the time it doesn't work out. You know, there is nothing is 100% in the market. So just keep that in mind. So in order flow, there are three building blocks that you need to know to understand order flow, to put it all together, to go from you know, a, a, a jar full of Legos to building a nice Lego house. And it's Delta, which is basically the measure of aggressiveness in a bar. Um, you know, if you have positive Delta, you have net aggressive buyers. If you have negative Delta, you have net, um, aggressive selling and what's aggressive buying and aggressive selling is aggressive buying is, is when somebody lifts the offer, buys the offer. Aggressive selling is when someone sells into the bid and think of it like this. You go to, you want to buy a car and you go to a car dealer. Okay. You want to buy this Corvette. It's $80,000, but you don't want to pay $80,000. The car dealer is a passive seller at 80,000. You think, well, I can buy this car for 70,000. Okay. So you're a passive buyer at 70,000. He's a passive seller at 80,000. Well, there's no trade going to happen. There's no, he's not going to give you the car, the car keys for 70,000. So what happens is you, one of you has to be aggressive. Either he's going to go, if he was aggressive, he would say, fine, I'll sell it to you at 70,000. He's the aggressive seller. If you say, no, I want this car so I could get hot women. You're going to be aggressive and buy it. You're going to, I'll pay you 80,000. Here's, here's cash. Take it now. You know, then you're being aggressive. Okay. And it's like that with the market. If you buy at the market, you're an aggressive buyer. If you sell at the market, you're an aggressive, uh, seller. Now, the next thing is point of control. Point of control. Every bar has one and it's the point in the bar with the most volume. Period. Um, you, know, you take the volume, trade it on the bid, trade it on the offer, and that's your point of control. And lastly is market imbalances. And what a market imbalance is, is when you have a ratio of more aggressive buyers than sellers for buying imbalance or more aggressive sellers than buyers for selling imbalance. And the ratio that people use is generally four to one. That's, that's the ratio. It's sort of like an industry standard. 
Now, again, you don't have to use four to one. I know some people that use different numbers, higher numbers, but that's basically what constitutes a market imbalance is when you got more aggressive buyers and sellers by a certain amount. So, you know, the first thing I'll talk about is the new developments in order flow analysis. And, you know, this is important because, like I said, you know, when I started trading on my own and I had a different uh, volume footprint chart, it was just a simple volume footprint chart. And it just gave me the uh, volume, you know, traded at price, which was nice to have. I mean, it's good, it's basic. But when I look back on it now, you know, five years later from 2013, it hasn't changed. It still looks the same. They've made no new developments. And, and why is that is because, you know, I think the, the people that devised it, they're just programmers. They're not traders. You know, and now you see so many volume footprint charts on the market. Almost everybody has one. And it's, it's kind of pointless because it's just like somebody says, well, I can't trade, but I could program, so I'll create a volume footprint chart rather than having a trader saying, I like the volume footprint chart, but I want it to do this for me. And then that's where the order flows trader comes in. And it's available for Ninja Trader 7 and 8. And the original Ninja Trader 7 version of order flows trader is had trap traders, single prints, order flows, divergence, and ratios. I won't get into that here. You can go to my website or watch some of the other videos on it. But in the new release of the software that we did earlier this year, we added prominent point of controls, market sweeps, multiple imbalances, and we enhanced the trap traders feature so you can see more areas where traders are, are trapped in the market. Now, let me just explain what some of these mean is prominent point of control. It highlights the point of controls that are important, which often act as support or resistance. And knowing areas of support or resistance, it's important. That way you can take advantage of them when the market reaches those prices again. You know, you can see how the market often reacts to areas, prominent point of controls. Why is because that's where you have support. That's where you have resistance. You see how the market comes down here, hits a support area, rallies up here, hits a resistance area and comes back down. Knowing where you have support or resistance is also important because, you know what, if you're going to take a low risk trade, you throw in a bid somewhere around that prominent point of control with the stop just below it for when the market comes back down to test that support rather than have the market trade, trade, trade and come back, test it, then rally and say, well, I'm going to get long because we broke out through the upside. We got the double bottom in here. No, you know that you could have a potential for a double bottom because you have support there. And then the market rallies up. So it's going to give you great trading opportunities. And the market hits a prominent point of control, a resistance level up here, sells off. Where does it sell off to before rallying back up? It rallies back up to a prominent point of control area right up in here. So it sells off, rallies back up to your prominent point of control where you have resistance and then sells off again. Market sweeps. Market sweeps are areas where big traders sweep the market. Either they buy or sell through several price levels in one trade. And you know, people will say, well, you know, people, it's stupid. Why would someone buy through um, three price levels, four price levels? That doesn't happen. You know, I see people write stuff like that on, on these message boards. And it's, it's, you know, it's people that have never traded really professionally or institutionally rather, and I hate to use the term professionally, but traded institutionally and moved big size to understand on why it's done. You know, institutional traders, they only care about average price. They don't care about, I got 16 at this price, 27 at this price, 37 at this price, 62 at this price. Just tell me what the average price is. And that's how they book the trade out to 10 decimal points, actually nine decimal points. Um, that's what they're concerned in. So they don't mind sweeping through the market. If they know, right? Imagine, think about it. If you're a trader, you got 5,000 e-minis to buy, you want to get them on now. You're going to sweep the market if you want to get them on as fast as possible. Now, you know, you people work algos and stuff, but you know, when, when this shit hits the fan and stuff's happening in the market and, you know, you, you got to buy a boatload of anything, you generally you're going to buy it up, try and buy it up through three prices. Because if you start finessing it, you end up, market's going to move and you're not going to get everything on and your average price is going to be worse. You know, the old NYMEX access trading system had a sweep function on it. You know, this is back in the 90s. You know, these old clunky computers. That was one of the functions on, on access. So that's why you see it happening, in, I think, in crude a bit more than a lot of other markets is because, you know, these cash traders will be working something against cash and they know that um, it's going to, the cash market's about to move. So they'll sweep through the market four or five price levels. And they do that regularly. It happens still today in every market. You know, here's NASDAQ. This is a one minute chart. You can see market sweep being indicated here in the software. And right before, it sells off. 
You know, this is a one minute chart. Imagine you're getting, you know, you know, there's a sweeping activity here. You get short, you know, where's your stop going to be? It's just going to be somewhere behind where that sweep occurred. And, you know, imagine getting short here at 7170 down here, right? Over the next five minutes, it trades all the way down to, you know, below 7160, which is right here. You know, you got a prominent point of control down here at 71.52. So say you cover it down here, you know, 71.57, 71.58. You know, that's 12, 12 handles in the NASDAQ over five minutes. You know, here's crude oil, right? You come down, you start putting the pieces together, prominent point of control at the swing low, start rallying up. You got a red candle. Okay, are we coming back down? Nope. Big trader comes in, sweeps the market back up right before the market continues its move on higher. So, you know, this is, this is important information. And, you know, that's why I said, you know, it'd be nice if the software can do that for you. And, and it does now because, you know, that's what we've programmed into the software to help you with. Now, another feature, another new development in order flow is the multiple imbalance feature. Now, what it is, it's, it's three or more order flow imbalances in the bar. It's similar to a stacked imbalance. You know, if you're familiar with order flow analysis in general, you understand what a stacked imbalance is. But what a multiple imbalance is, is it's a, a bar with three or more imbalances in it. They're just not neatly stacked on top of each other. And it's important information. Why? It's because you know that there are aggressive sellers coming in. And it's just not, it's just unfortunate that it's just not stacked on top of each other. Now, this is a great example. This is a crude oil. So you hit a low, prominent point of control. Okay. I think this is a low. Maybe I'm not convinced yet. Next bar. Imbalance, 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 imbalance. It's a nine price level bar. It's an eight range bar. So there's nine price levels in there. And four of them are imbalances. Okay. If you're waiting for a stacked imbalance, it doesn't come until 20 cents later. Meanwhile, you miss this area to be buying in down here at 72.55. Instead, you're buying up here at 72.75. You just gave up an extra 20 cents in potential profit. You know, another crude oil. We just come in here. We're just sort of hanging around, going sideways, putting in a bottom. And then boom, aggressive buyers appear. You know, this is like not the sign from God, but, you know, a sign saying, hey, you know what? We're at this low. Big buyers. It could be one. It could be multiple people coming in here thinking this is a low price and they're being aggressive. They're tripping over each other in their aggressiveness, buying it because, you know, sort of skipping different price levels. You got one, two, three, four. Um, imbalances in this bar and then the market starts scooting higher 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 and again if, if you're just looking for st stacked imbalances you're not going to see it in here because there is no stacked imbalances they're mixed in here and the multiple imbalances will have a magenta box around the bar you unfortunately it doesn't color it one color for buy or one color for sell it's just more as a visual tool it's a tool for you to look at and analyze further you know, here you have a high, a double top. First time you hit the top, you got a prominent point of control, so you know there's resistance. Second time you hit it, you've got a divergence, and you got multiple imbalances. So what's happening? You're up here at the high, you got a divergence, and you see you've got aggressive sellers coming in. You know, that's important information. You know, if you're at a high and aggressive sellers are coming in, people are coming in, now oh, we're at this high, sell it, sell it. That's important information. You should act on it. And, you know, a couple bars later, you got a, a sweep coming in here and the market sells off. But you know what? This was the bar up here. Uh, everything you had prominent point of control. You got divergence. You got stacked imbalance, multiple imbalances rather. And then you got a sweep of, you know, everything in the order flow is telling you, hey, you want to get short. Don't get long here. We're not going higher. So the second thing I'll talk about is the most, what I consider the most important part of order flow. Once you understand this. You know, it, it really makes a big difference in your trading. And it's not some big secret like, oh, the magician pulls back the curtain and everything. No, it's volume, period. That's the most important part of order flow. Why? It's because traded volume equals commitment. When someone gets into a trade, they're committed to the market because at some point they're going to get out. Now, yeah, not everything is, um, you know, not every position is put on to get out. Nowadays, you get all these, um, index arbs and you got all these uh, delta one desks um, and stuff some things go to delivery some things are cash settled for purposes but generally uh, 95 percent of everything someone gets into they're going to get out at some point and what's the difference between orders in the order book book the dome versus orders traded well 
Unfilled orders indicate a trader's intention. Filled orders indicate a trader's commitment. And that's important because, you know, this is the dome, right? You can see the market's 09 and a half at nine and three quarters. Okay, but up here, 28, 10 and a half people, oh my gosh, there's 1800 on the offer there. You know, Warren Buffett's got an order up there, you know, so, you know, if you get up there, you got to sell it. Well, as the market, you know, if the market's nine and a half at nine and three quarters, yeah, I'd love to also sell it at ten and a half. I'd be willing to put something in there. Maybe the market spikes up there and comes off. You know, I'm, I'm happy days and comes back down to nine and a half, and I'm short at ten and a half. That's that's great. But as the market starts ticking up, if you've ever watched a dome long enough, you'll notice that as you start getting up here, start trading ten and a quarter instead of eighteen seventy eight. Now you're only looking at six hundred and fifty. You know, people they pull their offers. You know, they, they back off, you know, they go up to 11 and a half or something, they, they, or they just pull it for whatever reason. It doesn't matter. You know, that's just their intention. You know, when the market's here at nine and a half, yeah, everyone would like to sell 10 and a half. You know, maybe they want the market to go a little bit lower or something. You know, so they throw in big offers. A lot of, there's still, still some shenanigans being played in the markets. But, you know, when volume is traded, when orders are traded, you know, it indicates a trader's commitment. And you can see here, right, this is a volume footprint chart. You can see down here at this low, you got a prominent point of control. You can see, you know, 3,000 contracts traded on the bid there, even 1971 traded on the offer. So you know that there was somebody down there willing to absorb all that buying, all that selling with their buying. They're sitting there bidding, 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 and then it goes offered and people are still buying it. You know, they're still buying it, even it's offered at 05. Okay, it trades 04, then it snaps back up. So, you know, you know, look at this volume, 3,000. Where else do you see anything remotely close to that? You see one level here in 1,500, but pretty much at every level, you're only looking at a few hundred, you know, 500, 600, 700 contracts. That's important. That sticks out like a sore thumb. You know, so what I call the sore thumb trade. When you see abnormally large volume at a low, that tells you there's support there. Or you see abnormally large volume at a high, that's support there. It's important information. And... What is commitment? You know, what's being in a trade? It's like, think of it like this. You know, it's like the girl on the left, right? She doesn't want to be committed. You know, she's just throwing orders in the order book. You know, she's out. She's, oh, I still want to play the field. I still want to date other people. Whereas the girl on the right, you know, she's married. And she's committed. You know, putting the ring on her. She's happy to be committed. She's in a trade. You know, she's committed. It, I'm not going to say at some point she's going to get out. But, um, you know, that's the difference. And you have to think about what happens in the market in normal layman's terms you know this girl on the left you know she probably wants to keep dating you know maybe you maybe dating some other people whereas the girl on the right she's committed to you and it's the same way you know when you're in your trade you're committed when you're not in a trade you can do whatever you want now orders that are filled traded you know that's volume and it's very revealing wise information wise to you the trader you know think about it if you knew where big buyers are at a certain level or were do you think that's important you know if you knew where big sellers were when price rallied up to a certain level and big buyers all of a sudden came out of the woodwork and sold, sold the shit out of the market, that's going to be important information to you. So how can you tell? You know, that's the, that's the question is how do you know where big buyers are supporting the market or big sellers are offering resistance? Well, you look at the order flow and more importantly, you could see it in the point of controls, you know, and point of controls, you know, it's in the price level in a bar with the most volume. Now, the prominent point of control is a point of control. It takes the point of control a step further. You know, it takes um, your vanilla point of control, so to speak, you know, your, your regular point of control that you're looking at on a volume footprint chart and it colors it in to indicate support or resistance by um, meeting certain conditions in price action and order flow analysis. And you can see it, it's going to act as support or resistance. And you see how the markets you know, react to it. You know, you, you got up here, you got a resistance prominent point of control to a supportive prominent point of control, rally up to a resistant point of control, and you sell off again. You know, oftentimes the markets do react quite nicely like that. You know, it's, I, I know people say, well, you're just putting up the charts where it worked. Well, you know what, if you look at enough charts, you, sometimes you think you're looking at the same chart because you see it over and over and over. Now, there are times that it fails, I, I'll admit, you know, nothing is 100% in trading. And, you know, you have to keep that in mind. But again, you know, if you know where there's resistance in the market, you have offers working up there to take advantage of it. You know, you see how it tests it once, twice, even here, supportive buying. It comes down here, tests that area before it rallies back up and then comes off again. And when you start adding in a few other pieces of order flow, like divergence with the prominent point of control, you know, it gives you some nice trades, like up here at this high of the day. You know, down here you got 
prominent point of control resistance followed by support. Okay, you know, sometimes it happens like that. But again, if you were to refine it a little bit, say, well, I'm just going to take it, you know, if they got a divergence, then, you know, it gives you an extra trade, you know. Trading is not about just having one method that works, period. And because, you know what, there's so many different market conditions. You need several different tools sometimes to attack the different market conditions. So, you know, the million dollar question is, how can you know where hidden aggressive buyers or hidden aggressive sellers are present well you're going to know with multiple imbalances and they can occur at anywhere any point on the chart but when you take them in context they're going to be more effective now what do i mean by context you know this is where a lot of traders go wrong is they think you know they they, they follow systems blindly in the sense that you know they're, they're taking buys when they shouldn't be or taking sells when they shouldn't be and, and this is a perfect example you have a buying multiple buying imbalance you have a multiple selling imbalance right around the highs which is going to be more effective buying after a move up or selling after a move up i've always found that selling after a move up if you have a valid reason is going to be better than buying after a long move up and you can see here you got a multiple buying imbalance bar but it's met with resistance up here and then even over here it's met with resistance up here so you know you got this top every time you hit this top you met with resistance and then you got aggressive selling coming in and the market goes lower you know those are the types of trades that you want to be taking not just because oh i got a multiple buying imbalance or i got a stacked imbalance i gotta take it i'll take it I'll take a step back think about it for a second you know can the market go higher yes it can but if you're up here and you're at your high and you're seeing signs of resistance then you know it's not gonna be a very effective trade instead you should be looking to take the other trade a reason to be getting short and multiple imbalances you know the reason we added them into the order flows trader software is because you know with order flow you're taught to look for stacked imbalances and you know there's nothing wrong with stacked imbalances you know they're nice they're neat they're pretty but oftentimes when you're trading in the markets everything is not nice and neat and pretty you know it's it's like you know you, you go to high school you, you take um, auto class and all the tools there are, are, are nice and shiny and everything but you know you, you have your car and it breaks down and you go your tools you know your, your wrench is grimy and greasy and you know maybe it's you know, the nut is or the bolt is stripped or something and you know it's like that with the market you know everything is not nice and neat you know so you know yeah it's nice to get stacked in balances everything stacking up neatly top of each other but oftentimes you don't get it you get them spread out and it's just as important because you know what, if you have a bar with three price, three imbalances and there's five price levels in the bar, say you look at a four range chart, you know, that's important information because over half the bar is um, aggressive traders in, in a direction. So it's, it's extremely important and it can also help you get into trades that you probably wouldn't have seen otherwise. You know, for example, you have three points here, point A, point B, point C. Point B is a nice, neat stacked imbalance at the end of a move. Well, that's great, but where would you rather be buying point a or point b well point a it's much lower you're getting in at 27 92 and a half catching the move all the way up to 90 um you know to here to 96 when you start coming off because up here you got a divergence you got a bearish ratio you got a lot of things if you took this trade this stacked multiple imbalance up here you would have been stopped out okay you know that happens especially you know this in the order flow is very bearish you know as soon as you get the stacked imbalance if it comes back with a bearish ratio right after it that's that's not a good sign that the trade is going to work out you got to get out immediately if it doesn't stop you out but we come up here we make our turn and then you got aggressive sellers coming in and the market sells off so you know point a point b point c all multiple imbalances but when you take it in context point a point c are, are the two good trades point b would be um, not a very effective trade i mean you can still take it but you're going to get stopped out but if you take it in context, you'd be like, well, you know what? I'm already long from point A. I don't need to get long from point B. And instead, you see the market turning. So then you get out of your initial trade and you get short because you know, all of a sudden you got aggressive sellers coming in here. You know, another, another great example. Coming down in here, you got a low. You got a prominent point of control. You got some support. And you got multiple imbalances. In this case, you got multiple stacked imbalances. And you can see how the market reacts to it. You know, it just comes up. Even here, you got multiple imbalances, one, two, three, four. And then the market keeps going higher. You know, it said if you're just looking at stacked imbalances, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. 
you know, here you got no stacked imbalance, but you got multiple imbalances. You got a prominent point of control as well. Where does the market do? It just it rallies, just kind of hangs around, lingers around. It does come back down here, test this prominent point of control before taking off back up to an area where you got a resistant prominent point of control. Now, the third thing I'll talk about is why you don't need to predict the market to be a successful trader. You know, a lot of traders, new traders come into this, come into the trading world thinking, well, I'm just going to get every single book on trading I can find and read it and, you know, take that information, synthesize it into a, a trading method, and I will know where the market's going to go. Well, instead of that, instead of becoming a trader, instead you're becoming a fortune teller, unfortunately, no pun intended, but you, what I want to tell you and what I want to stress upon you is you don't need to try and predict the future. You just trade based on the information that's in front of you. It's not about trying to predict highs or lows. It's about the market telling you a high is being made or a low is forming. Okay. And once you understand that, then you can start trading. You know, the shackles come off, so to speak. You know, if you know there's support of buying the first time the market reaches a swing low, you can position yourself to get long, right? You throw a bid in here. Okay, to catch the move back up, right? You don't have to sit here and say, well, I got to swing low. I'm going to start drawing trend lines and predict that I think the market's going to go up here to 93. Oh, that's all well and good. Well, where are you going to get in? You know, you got your target up here. Um, you got to get in at some point. You know, if you had a way to understand where there's trapped traders right now, based on what's happening in the market, it's going to give you some great trading opportunities. And, you know, the best way I'd describe trapped traders is someone that's long and wrong or short in the hole. And what I mean by long and wrong is, you know, you're, you're late to a party, basically. Okay. The market rallied up from this low to this high where you got trap traders on the buy side. What's happening is the market rallied up. Everyone's coming in. Oh, shit. I got to get long. I missed the move. They get long, but maybe the reasons for this rally are over now. And then the market starts selling off and these guys are stuck up here. They're trapped. You know, they got to get out of their positions. And what often happens is invariably the market will continue in that direction when they're wrong. So, you know, trap traders is, is something you, you, you see a lot of people talking about and they talk about it on, on bar charts. But how do they know it's really trap traders? You don't if it's on a bar chart because you're not looking at, at volume. You're not taking in volume to it. That's why I talk about why volume is important. You know, market sweeps. Again, trading what's happening in the market right in front of you. You know, it's like. Okay, I see a sweep happening. Okay, in the next bar, it sells off from 15 down to double O. The next couple of minutes, down to 73.90. You know why? It's because someone came in and swept the market. And you're only going to know that if you're looking at the order flow. And you're only going to know a sweep is happening if you're using the order flow's trader software to indicate that to you. You know, this is important information that's there for traders to use and take advantage of. You know, rather than sit here and, and spending a year trying to read every single book on trading that's out there, you know, oftentimes written by, you know, people that, that don't necessarily trade, you know, um, you know, you got to make at some point you got to, you got to, you got to start trading, you know, that, that just leads me into the second point or the, the fourth point is stop waiting for confirmation and start trading. You know, you got to be active and, you know, the best way to describe it is it's kind of like, you know, do you want to sit on the bench or do you want to be playing in the game? You know, you're going to sit there waiting for the coach to call you in or you're like, ready, coach, I'm in, put me in, put me in. You know, you want to be that one that, that wants to play. And oftentimes, you know, a problem that I see with a lot of traders, you know, I, I do some mentoring with traders and they show me their charts. I say, well, now I'm just waiting for confirmation. Well, what are you going to do in the meantime? You know, you can go on vacation or something or what? Yeah, you, know, you got to start trading. You know, don't don't sit there on the sideline waiting, waiting, waiting. You know what? Trade what's happening right now. You know, it's funny because, you know, I, I, I've seen people show me charts and they're like, well, I'm waiting for this. You know, we've got the first part of this formation forming. So, okay, then what are you going to do? You know, it's like they're, well, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for, you know, this, this, this. But then I'll be, and then I'll have the confirmation I can take the trade. Well, Okay, well, first of all, when's that going to happen? Today? A week from now? A month from now? Uh, I don't know. I got to wait for confirmation. Okay, what are you going to do in the meantime? Mm, well, I'll just keep looking at my chart. Well, it's not going to change that much, honestly. And if you're there waiting for confirmation, it may never come, you know? Like people like to, oh, I got triple bottom here, like on this chart. 
then I'm going to buy on the breakout. Okay, I need confirmation that we got a triple bottom before I could buy. Honestly, after you hit the second bottom, you should already be long, right? Rather than, oh, I got a triple bottom, I got to buy, you know, because we're going to make a fourth bottom. You know, that that's rare. But, you know, it, it's it's almost like people that go to the casino and they sit down at the roulette wheel and wait for black to come up 10 times in a row. Then they start betting red thinking, you know, I got my confirmation. It's 10. You know, how can it happen? But it can. It can still go red for another 10 spins or black for another 10 spins rather than say, okay, you know what? We're trading black. I'm going to bet black. You know, that that's what trading is like. You know, you got to start trading rather than sit here waiting, waiting. Because if you're waiting at the roulette wheel for 10 blacks in a row, there's a lot of spins going on that you're not taking advantage of. And this chart here, this is just uh, two days ago in the E-minis. It's very similar to this chart, actually. It's quite eerie. But um, what you got here is you got your prominent point of control and you got multiple imbalances. So you know you got support in this buying and you know you got aggressive buyers coming in here. So what's happening is you're just going sideways. So this is your opportunity to buy somewhere in here around this blue line, 28, 15 and a half, rather than, well, I draw my trend line in here. We got to break that trend line before I can get long to confirm this uh, double bottom or triple bottom. Okay, well, what if we don't come up here? What if we just trade all the way up here to 21? and then come back down. You just gave up a trade of getting long at 28.15, 28.18 half, up to 28.21. You know, that's two and a half points. Or is it three and a half points? Two and a half points, I can't think right now. But um, rather than getting long up here at 28.21 and a half, would you rather be long? 18 and a half or 21 and a half for the move up to 25 and a half, 20, we'll call it 24 and a half right here. Um, you know, you just gave up an extra two and a half points out of a five point, a realistically five point trade instead of getting just two and a half points. And we'll, think about your risk now, okay? Where are you going to place your stop? If you're getting long here, where are you going to place your stop? But well, your stop's going to go, it goes below that, that triple bottom down here, right? Your stop goes here or your long, your entry is here, your stop is here, right? But if you're getting long in here, in here, based on the order flow, and you still, your stop is still the same point. It's still the same spot right down here. So whether you're long at 18 and a half, your stop is at 17 and a half. Whether you're long at 21 and a half, your stop's still at 17 and a half. Would you rather have a, a stop with 18 and a half, long at 18 and a half with a stop at 17 and a half, that's one point, or getting long at 21 and a half with a stop at 17 and a half? You know, any day of the week, you should take the stop with four ticks as opposed to 20 ticks, you know, one point as opposed to five points. And what's your profit potential? You know, your profit potential is five points on the 18 and a halves versus, you know, three points, two and a half points on the long at 21 and a half. But your risk is still the same. You know, that, that's how you got to cut down your risk. You know, traders like to overanalyze situations rather than confront them. You know, you got to just start trading them. You know, so I'll sit there, oh, I got to wait for this. I'm going to look, you know, I'm trading a five minute chart and I'm going to look at a one minute chart and see if I got confirmation there. Or I'm going to look at a 15 minute chart, see if it's going in the same direction. My God, just trade. Um, you know, oftentimes that's the problem is traders tend to look and wait. You know, they want confirmation. They don't want to jump in to the trade, even though the signals are there because they want further confirmation. Well, at some point you got to trade. You know, you just got to, you got to pick it up. You know, you got to jump, got to get in the game and start uh, getting your foot on the ball, so to speak. And, you know, people that know me know me that I have certain setups in order flow and, you know, they use the order flows traders tools, you know, and, and one of my bread and butter trades is the, the divergence and ratio trade. And it's a great trade because it's great for picking highs of days or, or lows of days often. And you get great moves. You know, anytime you can sell off a high or buy off a low, it's going to give you a tremendous move. Yeah, as you can see here, right, this is the euro currency. But um, one of the, the newer trades setups that we got is still involves the Orphos Trader, involves two of the tools, the prominent point of control, which I explained already, um, you know, which is a point of control that's considered support or resistance in the order flow, and the divergence, the order flow's divergence, which is a new or equal high with negative delta or a new or equal low with positive delta. But most importantly, confirming price action and why is that important you know a lot of the the trading tools out there don't have the confirming price action they just have the new or equal high with negative delta or new or equal low with positive delta but you know what if i'm looking for the market to move off the high i want to see some confirming price action i want the price action to be also 
saying that the market is ready to move off a high or move off a low. And that, that's what differentiates the order flows trader from the other software out there is we have the confirming price action. And you can see here, I'm going to run through quickly a bunch of examples, prominent point of control and divergence up here at the high of the day, sell off from, you know, you'd be getting long in the next bar. You got to wait for the bar to close. Don't just get all excited as this bar is forming because oftentimes it can just change on you and, and keep rallying. But once the bar is closed, that's it. It's printed. You got your um, divergence, you got your prominent point of control. And you go from 47, you trade all the way down to 42, five points right there in S&Ps. Another S&Ps, again, ratio and divergence earlier it's a double top you hit it again you got your divergence prominent point of control even in the next bar multiple imbalances in here again it's not stacked imbalances but it's one two three four five imbalances out of a bar with nine price levels over half the bar is selling imbalances that's important information as well and you can see how the market just sells off where does it sell off to it sells off to a new low and down here we got a divergence buy the next bar you've got uh the ratio and the stack multiple imbalances rather but again, you know, it's a move from 27.50 down to 27.45. Another five points in the S&Ps. I'm not talking about five ticks, I'm talking five points. You know, I see some of these traders' videos. They talk about, yeah, I got three ticks out of this move. I'm like, three ticks? What are you wasting your time? You know, you, you got to be thinking in points. That's where you're going to make money is trading in points, not in ticks all the time. I mean, you can, but, um, you know, you, you got to do a lot of trades. But this is bonds, you know, ratio, uh, prominent point of control and divergence. Right up here, getting short around the 23, it sells off to where? Area we got supportive buying, prominent point of control. You know, from 23 down to 14. Mini Dow, eight range, right on the swing low, or the low of the day rather. Divergence, prominent point of control. Market puts in a nice rally. Here you go, another one. Euro currency, you sell off from a prominent point of control. Resistance here, new lows, new lows. Prominent point of control. Divergence, and you rally back up. You know, where would you be your initial target? Would be this previous point of control, prominent point of control up here. And you can see once you hit that area, you start um, sort of spinning around slightly above it, but you start spinning around that area. Buns, same thing. It's just like that E mini chart that I showed you earlier. Triple bottom here. Divergence, 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 prominent point of control, prominent point of control um, ratio here. But if you know you got support, you could be buying in here, throwing bins in here, instead of drawing this trend line here and saying, well, when we break 33, I'm gonna get long. You know, you could be getting long down here at 27. You know, that's gonna give you an extra five or six ticks out of that trade because you know you got support of buying happening. You know, back to the E-minis again. Here you got, you know, a lot of stuff going on. Prominent point of control, you got divergence, you got trap traders, you got a ratio, everything going on. The only thing you don't have here is uh, multiple imbalances or a stacked imbalance even, but you know, you got everything I'm telling you, this is sometimes I say the market just grabs you by the neck and says, Hey, buy me, buy me here. That's, that's what's happening here. And again, you know, sometimes these charts look a lot alike is because, you know, they, they repeat themselves. They're not exactly alike, but you know what? The same sort of setups appeared daily. That's why I said, my gosh, I, I wish I had a tool that would allow me to look at five markets, six markets, at a time so that when these things happen, I can take advantage of it. Because if I'm in a trade, sometimes that's got all my attention and I'm not looking at these other markets and ultimately I end up missing, um, you know, missing the, uh, the setups. So hopefully by now you can see how powerful order flow analysis has become. And, you know, if you found this helpful, you're going to really like my order flows trader 2.0 software package. It's literally like having me sitting next to you while you're, trading, pointing out the market nuances. You know, not all of us were born in the matrix. Not all of us have a chip in our head that we can do, 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 calculate everything that's going on at once. You know, sometimes we need tools to help us with that. And that's why I created the order flows trader software. You know, it runs on Ninja Trader 7 or Ninja Trader 8. And what it is, it's the volume footprint chart with the seven pre-programmed tools that I discussed in this presentation. And more importantly, what you're also going to get is my chart template. And that's important is because you don't want to waste your time trying to configure your chart to look just like mine. You know, what you do, what you want is your chart to look like mine as quickly as possible. You know, don't dick around trying to get everything set up. Then you, you change some setting and then you're like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? And then you screwed something up and you got to start over again. It's a waste of time. Stop wasting your time. Normally I sell this for eight ninety nine on my website. You can go there and buy it on my website. But, you know, one thing I learned about 
vendors, software vendors in, in the trading space is, like I said, there's, there's two types. You know, there's the type that just sort of build it and then that's it. They're done. Yeah, I've done what I want to do. I set out to build my volume footprint chart and that's it. And then there's the others that once they build it, they say, okay, they step back. How can I improve it? You know? Um, and, and that's where we are with the order illustrator software. We always like to add improvements when, when we can. I mean, it's not like monumental shifts, but you know, they come out when I say, Hey, you know what? I've added another tool to my trading. Let's put it in the software. And, you know, the, that's the difference is the Orphos Trader was designed by a trader for traders. You know, that's why we release the new tools because it's based on how people are trading with order flow. And my goal was to take the analysis that I do in my head or on a calculator. I used to do a lot of the stuff, you know, with the ratios and all that on in my head or on a calculator. I could do the rough math in my head, but sometimes I need to do a calculator if, it, if doesn't make sense and program it into the software to highlight the areas where potential buying or selling opportunities appear. Now, you know, that's all well and good. You know, it's, it's nice to have software that can do this, but you got to know how to use it, right? That's important also. You know, it's it's like having, you know, a what is that? It's a Photoshop, right? Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop is a monster. It's a terrific program, but it, the learning curve on it is so hard. And order flow trading is, is sometimes the same way. That's why I like to give you a lot of extra further education on how to trade with order flow. And so what I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you access to my order flows trading course. Normally I sell this for $2.97 on my website. You're going to get free access to that. So you could have that as a resource, you know, go back and, you know, say you want to know more about the absorption. You can go there and watch the lesson on absorption. Say you want to know more about uh, trap traders, go watch the lesson on trap traders. And, I realize though, but some people, you know, they're, they're really voracious in their appetite for learning order flow. So I got a special treat is when you pick up the software. Now I'm going to give you access to my inner circle video series. This is different than the actual inner circle. The inner circle includes extra indicators, but this is for people that want to take their order flow to another level, the order flow trading to another level. Maybe they want to learn some extra tips or tricks or forms of analysis and you can see that in there. Normally I sell this for $4.97 and it's, it's a great resource for people. And this is just the videos. Again, it's not the additional indicators, but when you start adding this up, you know, it's $8.99 for the software, um, $2.97 for the training, another $4.97 for the Inner Circle video series. That's already about almost $1,700 at $16.93. Okay, but you know, in response to Investor Inspiration, keep inviting me back. I want to make it sweeter for you, okay? I want to give you a special bonus. This is the access to the Trader Kickstart training. It's advanced trader training. This deals with the mindset of a trader. You know, why traders succeed, why traders fail, how to help you build a trading plan, um, you know, how to set a daily routine and, you know, how to relieve the stress and basically become a better trader on the mental side because, you know, dealing on the mental side of trading, it's very taxing. It's, it's, it's not something that's normally um, talked about, but, you know, sometimes people like to think that, you know, well, trading is scalable. Well, I can, if I'm successful trading one lots, I can move up to 10 lots overnight and then they end up losing. It, it's not, you know, you have to be, have the right mindset. You have to understand yourself before you can do it. You know, that's, that's important. And normally I sell that for about $300, it's 297. So you start adding this together. It's just about $2,000. It's 1990, but you're not going to pay that. Okay. I don't want you to pay that. I mean, there's some people out there that bought each and everything separately and, I'm like, oh, come on, don't do that. You know, I, 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 you just let me know if you want to bundle everything up. I can give you a special deal, you know, and today you can get it for just $7.99. I'll probably, be, I'm going to be raising this price later, um, after this webinar promotion. So you're not going to be able to get it at this price anymore. And what you do is you go to orderflows.com slash oft2.html. There's no more monthly payments. You know, there's software out there that's got an extra zero after this price for this for less than what I have to offer you in terms of analysis or education. And it boggles my mind. People pay it. I get a lot of people who say, hey, you know what? I've spent $10,000 on software over the last three years on order flow. And then I bought your software for, you know, one-tenth the price. And it all, oh, it makes sense. You know, it's all come together for me. They're like, I wish I found you before I pissed away all this other money. I'm like, well, I'm sorry to hear that you pissed away all that money, but I'm, I'm glad you found me. And yeah, you know, I got a new thing that I just started. It's the weekly live group training session. It's online. It's not one-on-one. -on -one. It's it's a group thing. It's in my 
trading room software host. I'm going to go back to it. And what it is, is each week, Monday nights, 7 p.m. Central Time, I'll get on a call with anybody that wants to come into the room and, you know, ask questions, ask help questions, ask support questions, anything about trading, you know, pull up a chart, um, you know, show me this, you know, and I'll explain, you know, anything interesting I saw um, recently in the order flow and explain it to you. So it's, it's a resource for users of my software. And it's only available for users of the order flows trader software. These videos will not be posted on YouTube. It's going to be behind a password protected place for members, for users of the order flows trader software. And again, it's, it's a place where say you want to ask me something in, you know, you want to send me an email. Honestly, I get about 700 emails a day of which about 25 are actually applicable to me. And sometimes I miss them, you know, and I know that's an issue with a lot of people. I admit it and I apologize for that. But that's why I'm doing this live um, weekly group uh, training session is so you can ask your questions there. You can say, hey, Mike, what does this setting mean? You know, do I need to look at it? You can ask that there. You know, that's where I'll be every week. So, you know, say you can't reach me for a few days. Oh, is Mike, are you still alive? What's going on? Um, I'm there. You know, you can come into that room and ask your questions there so you know for for those of you that in the past have said well you know i sent you an email you never replied well this is your chance to, to interact with me live it's basically um it's a set time each week so you know where i'm going to be there and you can take advantage of it and you know i put the value of this is a thousand dollars because even if you just go there once or twice then you, know, you get the time with me because why is it, why do I value it so much is because it's, you know, I, I do mentoring occasionally for people and it's only for select people now is because, you know, I want to make sure people are serious about their trading, you know, not just like, well, can order flow work for me? Here's some money, teach me what you know. And if it doesn't work, no, I, I want to make sure, you know, you want to understand it. And normally I would charge two and a half thousand for five hours. So that's $500 an hour for mentoring. So even if you just come here twice in, in the lifetime that you, you know, that, that you're, you're trading, yeah, you're already getting a thousand dollars of value, but you could come in here anytime. Say you buy the software today and you, you're going on vacation for a month. You could come in after you get back and, you know, say you've been using the software for six months, you could still get in, you know, previous users are also going to have access to this. And, you know, say you're using the software going on for, you know, three months, you never have any questions. All of a sudden you got a question. You come in here, you could, you have access to this for, you know, for life. You know, this is the resource that you can come in and use it to contact me on a regular basis. You know, not everybody likes to, um, you know, talk about trading. You know, some people are secretive. Some people will come in here and just sit back and watch and that's fine. You know, it's not something where you have to come in specifically to ask a question. You could come in here and, you know, just, listen to the exchange of ideas. You know, it's, it's not a trading room. I, I don't like having a trading room because people want to say, well, just tell me where to buy and sell. No, that's not what, um, this is about. This is about learning it's about furthering your education in order flow. And like I said, you know, it's, it's, you get lifetime access to that. So it's, it's a great tool. It's a great resource for you. So again, you know, get started for just a one-time payment of seven ninety nine. You know, you, again, you don't have to. I'm not going to come back and say next year you got to pay another seven ninety nine, or you want to upgrade your software, you got to pay another fee for that. No, you know, the only time you got to pay extra is that you want another license of the Orflows Trader software, which we can provide at a discounted price. So you start adding that together. You know that you're, you're saving a lot of money. You know, you're saving instead of paying. Twenty nine ninety, you're only paying seven ninety nine. That's a, that's a huge savings. You know, other people have had great success by learning order flow from me. You know, Sheila writes, you know, your order flows trader software is remarkably helpful. I can clearly see now what's happening in the market. Like for example, who's in control of the market on a very specific time, and who's getting weaker as well. You know, it's information like that. You know, that that's available to you as a trader that you should use in your trading. And again, it's not overly expensive. But again, you ask yourself, where are you now? Where do you want to be in the future in your trading? You know, do you want to try and figure it out on your own? Or do you want to have somebody there that's been using order flow, that's been developing the software, been creating the tools that are helping traders, being able to have access to them and talk to them? You know, what's that worth to you? You know, that that's a great resource. So what you do is you go to orderflows.com slash oft2 
the HTML takes you to this page and you just scroll down to the pay bottom of the page. It takes you here, buy now, I want this. It takes you to PayPal, PayPal processes your payment. I don't get your payment information. I don't want your payment information. I don't want your credit card details. People think that, oh yeah, he's got my credit card details. No, you know, it's passed process through PayPal. If you've ever bought anything online, you should be familiar with PayPal. And you know, think about it, why you should join order flows today is because hopefully by now you see the power of order flow analysis and how it can change your trading. You want to understand what's happening in the markets. You're excited to find low risk trading opportunities. You want a life of freedom and fulfillment. You know, and that's what trading is about. It's going to give you that freedom and fulfillment. I mean, you know, it, it took me to my 40s to realize the, the freedom that I could have, you know, and fulfillment by spending time with my family. You know, I, I worked hard all my life and I, I gained the knowledge in trading. And I said, hey, you know what? If I could like share that with other people, that would be great. You know, it's funny because you know people don't understand. They think, well, Mike, if you're such a great trader, why don't you just trade? Well, I do trade, but then they say, well, why, why bother teaching people? You know, it must be frustrating. And honestly, I get a lot of fulfillment out of helping other people. You know, when I get these emails from people saying, you know, your trading um, courses help me understand order flow. Thanks. You know, or, or people say, you know, it really made a difference in my trading. That's worth it. You know, that, that one email like that, you know, really brightens up my day and, you know, really gives me happiness. And, you know, trading, like I said, is a journey. Okay. That's why I, I talk about the, the trading kickstart course where, you know, it, it's not something that happens overnight. You know, it takes time and you have to find your footing, right? There's a, there's a saying in Chinese, uh, you know, probably one of those Confucius saying, you know, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Well, what's the next best time is today. And you have to make that, you know, you got to plant that tree. You know, you could, sure, you could spend the next year trying to figure it out on your own, or you could spend the next month, two months, you know, get the courses, get the software and get up to speed as quickly as possible. You know, when I talk about having a life of freedom, you know, when, 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 I was in Singapore trading, you know, I, I would see these guys, I was amazed, you know, because I never realized how much freedom you could have, you know, in life if you're a successful trader. And what do I mean? Perfect example is it would be Friday afternoon, floors closed, and it'd be five o'clock, and these guys would be like, hey, let's get it, to, let's go to Thailand this weekend. And we just, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Just, just get your, you got your passport? Yeah, because, you know, foreigner, and when you're a foreigner, you're overseas, always carries your passport. So, okay. I just get a cab, we just go to the airport and we, we just buy a ticket there and we just go to Thailand for the weekend. That's the freedom. You know, when, when I was still single, I was able to do that. Now that I'm married, I can't do that. But, um, yeah, you know, that's, that's what you want to do. You know, say you want to go on a vacation with your family. If you're trading and you're successful at it, if you know what you're doing, yeah, you, know, you can take that time off because you know what? The market's going to be there tomorrow. It's going to be there next week. It's going to be there a month from now. The market's been around for, you know, 150 years before you were born. It's probably going to be there for next 150 years, at least in some form. So, you know, there's, you have that freedom to take the time off when you want, spend it with your family and do that. So, you know, most importantly, I can't stress this enough, stop wasting your money, flushing it down the toilet, you know, thinking that you're trying to buy some shiny new indicator that's going to tell you where to buy here and sell there. Um, you know, these holy grail things, they don't exist. You know, sometimes people will, will like to tell you they do, they they really don't, especially not for like a hundred dollars. You can't buy some indicator that's going to work. You know, honestly, I've been working with some people to develop some order flow algos, and you know they they, they work nicely, but honestly, it's it's not available to general public like that. It's it's very expensive work, and you know, does that mean it's going to constantly keep working? No, you know. But once you understand how to un read the market, you know that's that's worth more than having some holy grail indicator because at some point they may work it may oh, sorry it may stop working you know you look at some of these these great hedge funds and what worked for them 20 years ago probably doesn't work for them now you know that's why some of these these methods of trading aren't very effective anymore is because you know these algos have been created to to pick off some inefficiencies and you know that's that's uh, something you got to understand and not a lot of people really understand that so Thanks for watching this video. You know, this was a, this was a long presentation. And again, I promised you, if you were interested in my book on trading order flow, go to orderflows.com slash book.html. It'll take you to a page, enter your email address, confirm it, and you'll be uh, taken to a page where you can download the book. 
you know, it's, it's, it's a great book. I said, if you're interested in the markets and order flow in particular, um, take advantage of it. There's, there's no reason not to. So, you know, get started now. I mean, what are you waiting for? You know, you'll watch this video, this presentation, the replay or whatever, and do nothing. Then a year from now, you'll see, come back to it and say, you know what? I should have just bought your software today. And instead of wasting a year of my life, you know, who knows, you know, where are you going to be in a year? You know, maybe you got different priorities, you know, and you're like, well, you know, I wish, gosh, I wish I knew how to trade because I really hate my new boss. You know, I've, I've worked in places where I hated my boss so much, you know, and it's like, oh, I can't wait to get out of here. I hope he moves or I move or something like that. And, you know, when, when you're successful at trading, it gives you that freedom to make the the movements in life that you want to make, give you the freedom to do the things in life that you want to make. So again, you know, go to orderflows.com slash oft html and I, I hope to see you guys inside on the inside and you know have interaction with you on, on a regular basis so thanks everyone have a great day bye bye